Good morning, kiddos. Today we're going to be talking about slope and algebra, and uh, I like to start slope off with Mr. Slope Man. So, of course, slope is how much a line goes uphill, kind of like how much is it increasing. Like if you're riding a bicycle up a hill like this, it's going to be pretty smooth, but bam, if the slope is steeper, so it's kind of like the steepness of a line, it's going to be problematic. Um, and there's different types of slopes. There's positive, negative, undefined and zero and we're going to be looking at those uh, today we're going to look at mr slope man okay so if your slope is positive okay that means the line goes up like that okay if your slope is negative the line's going to go downhill like that if it's undefined it goes up and down we call that an undefined slope and uh, last but not least, if it's flat, if it's zero, there's no steepness in it, uh, they call that a slope of zero. Okay? So it makes a little man, if you can, if you can see, that's called Mr. Slope Man. So just a refresher, we have positive slopes, okay, and they go uphill, negative slopes, downhill, you're going up the mountain, going down the mountain. You also have undefined, which is like a straight up and down, like a cliff. And then you have zero, which means there is no steepness. It's all flat. So let's look at the uh, graphs. First thing that we're going to do here is we're going to, using Mr. Slope Man, determine if these graphs are positive, undefined. These slopes are positive, undefined, negative, zero, whatnot. So right off the bat, this goes, look at Mr. Slope Man, this is uphill, the line goes up, so this is a positive slope, okay? And then uh, this line goes up and down, okay? So just very much like that, so this is an undefined slope. And then uh, this far slope here is going downhill, and Mr. Slope Man, the line that goes downhill is negative. Okay, so it's a negative slope. So when we're talking about slope, slope is always uh, written as rise over run. Okay, you could also call that how many you go up. Over how many you go down. So let's look at these lines, okay? You have to pick two points kind of where there's like a little grid mark already. So you have the little grid. This is on a grid mark. And uh, that point there is another good one. It's on a grid mark. Uh, you wouldn't use this point because you don't know. It'd be like 2.3, 2.7 or something like that. You want it to be right on a grid mark, okay? So how many do we have to go up? So we're going up two, and how many do I have to go over? One, two, three. Okay, it's positive, and I went in that positive direction as well. So it's two thirds. All right. Now for this one, I go up one, two, three, four. I go up endless amount of times, so it could be like seven. I could go up seven from this point. One. Two, three, four, five. To that point, I go up seven, but I go over zero. So that's called an undefined line when the zero is under the fraction bar. Okay, if you get a zero underneath the fraction bar, it's undefined. It's because you can go up as many times as you want, but you can't go over. All right? And then there's a negative. Okay? So I'm going to pick uh, two more points. I'll pick this point here. And this point right here. Okay. So I go up, count it, one, two, three, four times, over toward the negative twice. If you can't identify the line going downhill, you are moving in the negative direction. So it's a negative four over two, which simplifies to a negative two. Okay. So 
negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. Well, what do we do if we're not given a graph and we, we need to find the slope, but we're given two points? Well, in this situation, we have a formula uh, that we have been using, and that formula is that you take y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And you usually have like x1, y1, x2, y2. It doesn't matter which point you start first with. Um, so let's go ahead and look at our coordinate point. So our x's are the 0 and the 3. And our y's are the negative 2 and negative 4. So y2, we take that 4 minus, and then it's a negative 2, all being divided by 3 minus 0. Okay? And 4 minus negative 2, when you're subtracting a negative, that becomes a positive. It's 4 plus 2, which is 6. And then oh, 3 minus 0 is 3. So this simplifies, if I divide each by 3, uh, to 2 over 1, or 2. Okay? So it's a slope of 2. There. Okay, looking at the second one, I'm going to take my second y point, negative 5, minus it from negative 2, divided by negative, uh, negative 2 minus 7. Let's go ahead and simplify that. Negative 5 minus negative, so it's plus. Negative 5 plus 2 uh, is negative 3. And negative 2 minus negative 7, it's like you're in the hole $2. You owe someone $2. Now you owe them 7 more is negative 9. And you can divide each one of those by 3, and it's 1 over 3. Whenever you multiply by two negatives or divide by two negatives, it becomes positive. 6, okay, we're going to take that 19 minus 7, so the second y coordinate minus the first, 19 minus 7 divided by the 5 minus 3, okay, uh, 19 minus 7 is 12, and 5 minus 3 is 2, 12 divided by 2 is 6. going to have you try number seven on your own. So the will start is to see if you get it. So you can pause the video here and see how you do. Hoping you were able to get two-thirds as your answer. I've done the work here to show you. Now, sometimes you're not given coordinate points like that. You're given a table. And in this case, you just pick two points and you solve it out. So why, this is why, this is like 0, 3, and that's 2, 11. Coordinate points written in a different fashion. So I have 11 minus 3 divided by 2 minus 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. 11 minus 3 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. So in this case, the slope is 4. Number 9. Again, I have 11 minus 9. All over 3 minus 3. What I'm going to end up getting there is 2 over 0. And when 0 is underneath, it's un, oh, good God, undefined. Your slope is undefined. Okay, we're going to go ahead and flip over to the back. We might have to do two parts for this video. I want to run out of time here. Okay, so how do you find the equation of a line? when you're given two points or the slope and a point? Well, we know how to find the slope of a line given two points, okay? That's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's go ahead and take some of those. We have 11 minus 9 all over 2 minus 4. And 11 minus 9 is 2. And 2 minus 4 is negative 2. 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. Okay? 
So that helped us find the uh, slope. But there is a formula where you take y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, and you solve it out. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. We pick one of the coordinates, whichever one you want, it doesn't matter. So in this case, I'm going to pick this one. I didn't have to pick it. I'm going to put it into this formula. y minus 9 equals, m stands for slope, so negative 1 times x minus 4. And now we search to solve. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times negative 4. Two negatives make a positive, so I'm going to put a plus 4. Equals y minus 9. Now in this situation, this fly is starting to kill me here. In this situation, we want y by itself over here, so we're going to add 9 to both sides. Okay, And we're going to end up getting y equals negative 1x plus 9. Okay. 9 is your y-intercept. Okay. Meaning that's where it crosses the y-axis here. Okay. This is going to be at 9. And your slope is negative 1. So what if we have something that says the slope of negative 2 that passes through the origin? Okay, We have our slope, and we also have a point on the line. The origin is 0, 0. Okay? So let's use that formula. y minus 0 equals negative 2 times x minus 0. Okay? y minus 0 is just y. So negative 2 times x is negative 2x, and negative 2 times negative 0 is just 0. Okay? So our line ends up just being y equals negative 2x. It's pretty simple. I love origin equation. It's quite the thing. How do you, how do you find this fly? How do you find the equation of a line given a table? Again, you pick two points. I'm going to pick this one, I'm going to pick this one. I don't like decimals, okay, so I'm not going to deal with them. And I have to remember my, I know you all don't like the lights, but it went out on me. So remember, you use the um, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And then, once we find our slope, we use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay? Let's go ahead and do that. I have negative 2 minus negative 5 divided by 2 minus 0. And that gives me, so it turns into a positive, negative 2 plus 5 is 3, 2 minus 0 is 2. This is our slope. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put it into um, an equation. We'll pick we'll pick this point here. Okay. No, I like I like when I have to deal with the zero. That's easier. So y minus negative five equals three halves times x minus zero. Y minus a negative is the same thing as plus, so I have y plus 5 equals 3 halves times x is 3 halves x. And 3 halves times 0 is 0. So now from here I subtract 5 to get y by itself. And y ends up equaling 3 halves x minus 5. Okay. This is part 1. The remaining 13, 14, 15, and 16 we're going to do in part 2. So it's going to be called slope part 2.